Thus far, the equations we have encountered have been balanced. But what happens when an equation is not balanced? How do we balance it? That is what we will tackle now. First, let us analyze the equation. On the left side, there are two hydrogen atoms and two oxygen atoms. On the right side, there are two hydrogen atoms and only one oxygen atom. Remember, for an equation to be balanced, it must have equal numbers of each type of atom on the left and the right side. The number of hydrogen atoms is equal on both sides. However, the number of oxygen atoms is not equal on both sides. This equation is not balanced. To balance an equation, change the coefficients in front of each compound. Then multiply through the compound to make each element equal on both sides of the equation. Repeat until all compounds are balanced. This may take a few tries. And when each element on both sides has the same number of atoms, your equation is balanced. It is important to note that only the coefficients can be changed, never subscripts. Let us balance this equation. We know the hydrogen atoms are balanced, so we will focus first on the unbalanced oxygen atoms. Multiplying the number of oxygen atoms by 2 on the right side will make them equal to the number of oxygen atoms on the left side. To do this, place a coefficient of 2 in front of the compound H2O. Now look at the number of atoms per side. The number of oxygen atoms on each side is balanced. However, the hydrogen atoms are now unbalanced. To balance them, we can multiply the hydrogen atoms on the left by 2. To do so, we must add a coefficient of 2 in front of H2. Multiplying the coefficient of 2 by the subscript of 2, 2H2, you now have 4 hydrogen atoms. Both sides of the equation now have 4 hydrogen atoms and 2 oxygen atoms. Each element on the reactant side has the same number as the same element on the product side. Therefore, the equation is balanced. For practice, let us balance another equation. First, count the number of atoms per elements on the reactant side and product side of the equation. In this case, this is 1Al, 3Fe, and 2N on the reactant side, and 1Al, 1Fe, and 1N on the product side. Next, use coefficients to balance the sides, multiplying through the compounds. Start by balancing the nitrogen atoms by adding a coefficient to the right side. The nitrogen is now balanced. However, this threw the aluminum out of balance. Let us now balance that by placing a coefficient of 2 in front of aluminum on the left side. The aluminum and nitrogen are balanced, leaving only the iron unbalanced. Each element on the reactant side now has the same number as the same element on the product side. The equation is balanced.